Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Carsten and I talk about re-establishing my lost uh, music collection and uh, reviewing uh, new stuff. And uh, this is what I got in the first two weeks of December. Molly Hatchet, Double Trouble Live, great, great album. Uh, of course you have most of the, the, the songs on it, but I didn't have Freebird the version of the yeah the classic Leonard Skinner song but you also got Whiskey Man, Bounty, Hunter, Gator Country, Flirting with Disaster and, and many many more of course Fall of the Peacemaker so great great live album I enjoyed it a lot and I've seen uh, Molly Hatchet live in many versions uh, last time was in 2022. Then we go to one of my absolute favorite artists, Rick Wakeman, guy who inspired me to learn to play the piano and keyboards back in the days. Uh, this is his concept album out there. Uh, Universe, The Mission, Music of Love, to be with you at the Cathedral of the Sky is only six tracks on it, but it's really a great album. Now, the next one, many of you probably know that, it's Arena, uh, and the is the Theory of Mo Molecular Inheritance great great album it was my choice for the best album of 2022 and i still enjoy listening to it it's just fantastic i really always enjoy clive noland and his music then i got something different totally different bg's all right sorry about the interruption someone was at the door now, as I said, we were talking about the Bee Gees album. Um, it's not my favorite Bee Gees album, I have to say that. It's still Odessa, uh, but there's a lot of good tunes on this one. So I really, I can, I can enjoy it, okay? Next one, one of the bands I listened a lot to in the 70s was Flying Burrito Brothers. And this is the album uh, Hollywood Nights uh 1979 to 82 they got 20 tracks and it's just a tour down memory lane then i got this one right heap spellbinder it's a compilation as a Some great, like uh, Devil's Daughter, Stealing, uh, Rainbow Demon, Wizard, Circle of Hands, Gypsy, Look at Yourself. So it's a lot of Hensley uh, on this one. And then you got a, a bonus track called Sail the Rivers. Great album. If you like Uriah Heap, you need to have it. Then from Sea of Tranquility, I got. Uh, I was. In, they wanted me to. Or they didn't want me. They, uh, they got the um, me to get in to listen to this Polish band called Riverside. It's a progressive rock band, and I liked this first album. So uh, in the last part, I bought another one. But this is uh, Second Life Syndrome. Great album made me want to hear more and this is from 2005 and of course I got Steve Bruce Springsteen only the strong survive it's a cover album and you can say okay uh, covers are they good now normally I don't like cover albums or cover songs but unless they can do it real good like uh, if you take uh, Disturbed, Sound of Silence, or you can take Neil Moore's band's um, Bridge Over Troubled Water, which is a fantastic version of that song. But this one is good. And of course, when it's Springsteen, it normally is quite good. 
so I I dig it a lot. Uh, it's not my favorite Springsteen album, uh, but it's a good album. And then I bought this one by accident. Bad English, self-titled, and I liked what I heard, so uh, I bought one more. But more on that later. That was all for me for this time. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and put the notification bell if you want to hear every time I upload something new. Uh, this is um, part one of December's purchases and part two will come very soon. So until we're here, see you again. Bye bye.